So we've worked on the rest of this little overgrown girl to set her into an Asian style trim. And now I'm going to uh, set her head in. I've never groomed this dog before, so we've got, um, I don't think she's been groomed for a long, long time except for some home grooming because she keeps a poodle trim usually. So she's got a lot of hair on her. She had no poodle shape on her at all. She was that overgrown. A big mess, but secret weapon was to the rescue. So first things first, I'm going to take the same guard comb that I did on her body, which is a half inch, and I'm going to clean up her throat area. So let's turn this up a little bit. Following up the throat. Good girl, good girl. I know, Pumpkin, I know. Easy, 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 good girl. I wanted to clean up that throat latch area so that it, it makes the muzzle really pop and it really um, adds nicer, cleaner looking. Easy, sweetie, easy. <laughs> oh my goodness. You're a wake bum, aren't you? So if I was doing like a mushroom head style or something like that, I'd want to be careful on where this line is because that could potentially um, go into that big mushroom head style. But I, I took it up a bit farther because I'm not doing that kind of style. Um, just to be on the fast side, I'm going to use my clipper to clean her eyes if she's a good girl. I have no idea because I've never groomed you before. Come here, baby. Good girl. So I'm just lightly touching it. No scooping. Good. So from the side, I don't have a whole lot of hair gone in there. I really don't want to ruin the effect, right? Now, because her head's been chopped at and it is actually kind of thin, I don't have a whole lot of options. Let's look at your face for a second here. And her ears have been hacked at too, so just let me think for a minute. Well. going to cut your brow in a little bit. So I'm using curves. I'm actually using Utsumi Super Curves. And I'm just going to cut in that brow a little bit so I can see what I'm working with. Easy, easy, easy. Easy. Good girl. I'm kind of limited by what the hair is that's there. So... Sitting in a shape. So normally if she had a lot of hair on that top outer edge of her ears, I think I would actually leave some underneath to kind of fill in and help for support it. But because this has been trimmed so much, um, I am going to try and instead blend it and do maybe a short ear style. So I am going to remove this hair in front of the ear. We should close that window. Hey, you're listening. You're listening for your mommy. Good girl, Penny. Good girl. Alright, let's take a look at you. So again, I'm just blocking in a shape. Um, we will get to the actual finishing, cleaning it up a little bit later. No, no, no. Easy, easy, easy. Sweetie. Okay, we are going to go close that window. Hang on. Okay, window's closed. Hopefully that'll be a little bit less distracting for her. Might need to back you up a bit. Eh? Okay, so now, good girl. No, good girl. Now, I'm... I am going to set in her face so that I kind of know what I'm dealing with, even though she's a little bit fussy for it. So looking at her face, I'm going to shorten up this. Oh, so I'm going to shorten up this muzzle. Look straight at the camera, sweetie. Good girl. Good girl. I, I think she's either been home trimmed on the top of her nose or she probably, she might not even grow that in. So I am going to scissor that to kind of blend it in. 
because I, she doesn't really grow anything much there. It looks quite thread, threadbare. Good girl, good girl. You'll get the hang of it, sweetie. Right here, I'm just cleaning up this area right here that's sitting behind the muzzle, underneath the eyes. Again, not shaving it short, not taking it too drastically short, but I just want to, um, at an angle, layer this in here. Not only does it clean it up and make it easier maintenance, but it also will make that muzzle pop. All right. Not bad. So this could be very well, I would consider this more of an Asian fusion where it's, it's not really extreme or anything like that. It's nothing fancy. But it is cute and it is different. Maybe, maybe her mom will let me grow her into something um, unique. Okay. got for what have you got for non-existent ears here Oops, sorry you guys can't see what I'm doing yeah there's really not much there so I'm come here pumpkin it's okay it's not for you not for you, guaranteed. I'm thinking I'm just going to soften the edges of this because I really want to grow her ears out, but um, I actually don't know if I... Part of me wants to go extreme and clip them off and put a bling on it. She's got a really cute tiny little ear in there. Her ear is literally to there. So here, let's just... You would be stinking cute, maybe I'll do it. Alright. I cut the hair off because I'm not sure what I want to do yet. I don't think I want to clip it really, really short. I just want to make it look cute. So, <laughs> easy pumpkin. Shit, what the wolf was that? Right. Come here, you. Alright, let's put this back up. Good girl. Good girl. I know, we have a noisy, busy street and no music, eh? So I'd left this hair back here because I didn't know what I was going to do with it. Um, I just, I'm making this up as I go. So I don't like a real extreme um, change to neck. Like unless you're doing a mushroom head or something. So I'm just going to slowly blend that in. Keep in mind, um, when she perks her ears up, you want to make sure that there's not a bunch of excess hair up there. So I'm just going to... No bubbles. Look at you, still got knots everywhere. I'll have to include the before picture, she's quite the mess. Weren't you, pumpkin? So, does that ear stay down? <laughs> oh, you're cute. <laughs> oh my goodness. You're going to be cute, I think. Your mama won't recognize you. I don't think she's ever had her in anything not traditional. I think she just, honestly, I think she might be homegrown or get overgrown enough to get shaved or something. So, we'll see. She might hate it. If she hates it, I'll clip it off, but... It's fun to uh, practice. Oops. Okay, let's 
make your other side match now. And then after I after I work on the other side, I'll try and clean all this up a little bit. How much it looks a little bit too big still on this side, so which is a problem I have sometimes. Too much hair. I like hair. And I'm not looking, doing her chin because uh, <laughs> she's fussy. So I'm afraid I am using it as a handhold. Okay, pumpkin. Good girl. Good girl. Let's see how good I am at flipping my shoes around. Easy. Good girl. Well, you're spunky, yes you are. Yeah, you're spunky, aren't you? Oh, where's my finger rest? I'm gonna go to this side of the table. Come here. No, oh, you're not on the camera. back on you because I don't trust you. That a girl. Make sure I'll shorten that ear. I always keep my fingers on the let's put your head up sweetie. I always keep my fingers on the edge of the ear. Okay. I'm just gonna pause it while I adjust. Oh, you're fine, princess. I'm right here. So, I always put my fingers on the edge of the ear while I trim it. Just old paranoid sake. Never be in too much of a hurry that you can't be safe. And, oh, sweetie. I'm not looking at her straight, so I need to look at you straight for a second so I can fix your other side of your head. <laughs> you know, you're stinking cute, though. You know how stinking cute you are? My goodness. So again, just layering the ear so that it's got a nice trimmed look without being choppy because she's not, she's not very curly on her ears. She's kind of straight. So that's why it looks more choppy there. And it was definitely hacked at, so I had lots of layers. Okay, adjust again. Boy, you're tuned to vehicles, hey? Yeah, maybe I should have had music on. Oop, sorry, sweetie. I'm sorry, kind of combed your nose, didn't I? No getting away from it. I'm gonna have to trim underneath your chin so I can set the rest of you in. Hmm? Yeah, no getting away from it. Come here, you. First things first, I'm gonna do your lip line. Now I've got a finger underneath and on top because I don't trust her not to lick. I really don't think she'll let me trim with these, but maybe she will. Oh no. What the woof, huh? What the woof are those? Girl, you're doing pretty good. 
You're not used to all this fussing, are you? Move the woof, eh? Sorry guys. Oh my goodness, princess. Can I tell you've had your face shaped off and never trimmed? Come here. Come here. So for this, because she's been so wiggly, I've actually got a finger on this side and a finger on this side and I'm right behind her little um, head neck joint bones where I can actually turn. She can't, she can't protest me too much, but it's not uncomfortable. It's just a light. It's just a light hold because otherwise she protests, don't you? Good girl. I find you get lots of this stuff in here, so you gotta kind of comb it this way and that way and clean it up. I'm also gonna want to check her flues because hair can hide in there too. What a good girl. We have to fix your fix your face. So I haven't done the layering in here. <laughs> it's just a freezer, sweetie. Do it backwards here. Good girl. Very nice. Good girl. Let's have a look at you from the front. So you're a little lumpy. Especially when you put your ears up. Your one ear sticks up and it's pretty stinking cute. <laughs> oh, I hope your mom likes it. Probably won't, but oh well. I think her chin's too long. Nothing's here, sweetie. You're convinced because it's a busy Friday. Okay, I gotta work on this because it's driving me crazy. It's gonna take that ear and take off the, the little thing sticking out in the front edge. I'll layer it. So, easy way to do that was just to take the ear up, fold it in half. And you can see the stuff, oh there you are, see the stuff hanging out in front. I'm using blenders because I honestly can't predict which way she's going to leak. Oh, and, alright, distraction gone. Looking very good, sweetie, very good. In the front. Alright. Good girl. Good girl. Sorry. It's me reaching around a camera on a funny little prop thing. Awkward. So when I'm when I'm sitting back and looking, what I'm looking at is I'm looking at shapes. I'm looking at this shape and is it overwhelming? Do you know usually you want it by edge of eyes. I'm trying to decide if I want to take it in shorter. Don't worry. I want to take it in shorter or not if I want to have more of a teddy bearish look. Um, sometimes, you know, that's just nitpicking because when they're walking around they're so stinking cute, it doesn't matter. But that's what I like to look for is uh, evenness, symmetrical um, expression, all that kind of stuff. Any areas that hairs can hide, <laughs> pumpkin, such as underneath your chin. 
I know. Come here. Good girl. Good girl. Good. 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 All right. So there you have. Let's unhook this from here. There you have my cute little makeover girl, Penny. <laughs> You're cute. And she did pretty stinking good from her little makeover. So she didn't have any more hair than you see at the bottom of her feet. So I had to flare what I could. She also did have a grown out tail. So I did like a little, you know, something alternative. So uh, back of head, there is a bit of hair here. It's been blended in. She's a tiny little thing under there. Hey, Penners. Meow, meow, meow. Hey, good girl. <laughs> You're not gonna look at me, are you?